All right, folks, this video, I'm going to show you how to get that uh, very bottom line there on MSI Afterburner, the FPS average. And uh, so we've got uh, FPS min and max. And uh, before we get into that, this is something you don't want to start till you're actually in gameplay. All right. Um, so in a moment, I'll show you how to get it going. But if I start this while I'm in the pre-screens, I'm getting uh, bogus info, right? I'm going to get some highs of 800 FPS. I'm going to get lows, uh, possibly down as low as 1. Uh, so what good does that info show me? Wow, this looks terrible. Um, it doesn't, doesn't really help you figure out what your real average is. So making sure you start during the game is the way to go. All right, so... Let's uh let's get out of here and go to Afterburner. Now, uh, this is pretty simple to do, and uh, some people, you know, don't show you all the tricks, right? So, of course, in monitoring, this is where I'm going to go in and tell it what I want to actually be on the screen. Um, in this case, I've got right above it, I've got frame rate. And I have overrode the name to FPS. So you see that right there, FPS. Um, I guess we could call this a tips and tricks video. Let's look at uh, another one. So just so you know which uh, graphics card I'm using, I have, uh, let me find this, or excuse me, which CPU I'm using. Okay, so I recalled that, renamed that GPU, and I didn't override it. So this just kind of shows you the names of these, right? And then somewhere in here, okay. So CPU usage, I renamed that 9350KF, and you see that right there, right? So that's one of the cool things about this override group name. Um, it helps me. Helps keep me uh, legit on which computer I'm actually using. Um, and then what you guys are here for, though, is this frame rate, min and max, and average. Okay, so I have renamed that grouping to be FPS average. So you see all three of those are there. This is the minimum, this is the average, and that is the maximum. Okay, I could add some other stuff, but these are the ones I want. All right, so... Why aren't you seeing this? Uh, it's as simple as this. We go to on-screen display, click on more, and then I'm going to click on setup. And guess what? We got to do down here is enable benchmark mode. So I'm going to take this off just so you can show, see that it indeed uh, disappears. Okay, voila, gone. All right, and that is most likely what's happening to you why it's not working. So. Uh, I don't know a whole lot of tips and tricks about MSI Afterburner. I only use it for certain things. That um, really it's one of those areas where I should probably spend more time, uh, not only for videos, but uh, getting you know better understanding of it. So uh, there you go. That is what I've got. In case you are curious how I do my MSI Afterburner, um, we've got it right there. Okay, so... You know, if I wanted to change some other stuff, like, uh, you know, nobody cares that I've got DDDR4 RAM in here. Uh, but we could, we could say that, right? Um, we could override this group name and uh, call that DDR4. Assuming I can grab the right one. I might not have grabbed the right one, folks. There it is. So it just changed to DDR4. Uh, if I wanted to be more specific, I could add RAM behind that, right? So that's it, folks. Um, and some of these other ones, they just don't, uh, I don't... The default's not very good, right? So my CPU clock speed, let's go ahead and override that. Why not make that... Uh, you know, CPU clock, right? And let's go back actually and capitalize it. 
apply it. So if you really want to customize yours and make it look cool, that's the way to do it. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Hope you got something of it. Please like, please subscribe.